$841 up to $1,261 per month for SSI beneficiaries. Now, if you are an SSI, Supplemental Security Income Beneficiary, Watch out because this video is dedicated for you. Now, I see a lot of comments down below and the vast majority of people in this community right here fall into one of the following categories. Social Security beneficiaries, including retirement, disability, SSDI, and survivors, SSI beneficiaries, supplemental security income, VA, RRB beneficiaries, as well as low income and no income beneficiaries. There's a lot of people here in this community and I wanna make sure that we're focusing on everybody here. So this one is dedicated for SSI. As far as social security beneficiaries, don't worry, I have some dedicated videos for you as well. So make sure to stay tuned. All right, so let's quickly talk about what is actually going on right now and why we wanna focus on these dollar amounts that I gave you at the beginning of the video, $841 and $1,261 every single month and what these numbers actually represent. So I continue to see down in the comments section a lot, pretty much every day, a lot of people reaching out wondering, when are we going to get our monthly benefit raise? I'm struggling here. I need a raise to my benefits. When are we going to be getting it? I'm sick of waiting. <laughs> you know how that is, right? I think a lot of us are tired of waiting longer and longer for these benefits to actually kick in. So let me talk through what these numbers represent, when we're going to be getting them, and some other surprising numbers that I think a lot of us maybe don't realize. So let's talk through this. So first off, the $841 that I mentioned, this is the new monthly benefit, maximum monthly benefit for SSI benefits in 2022, which will actually be starting on December 30th of 2021. So if you're an SSI beneficiary, you will be getting your new higher benefit on December 30th. That'll be your first payment. So whether you, re you receive that payment into a bank account or onto a Direct Express card, whatever it happens to be where you receive your payment, watch that day, December 30th, that is the big day where you will receive your new higher benefit up to, what, uh, sorry, up to $841 as an individual. So watch that day, that's a good one. And I know a lot of people are very excited and we're all anxiously awaiting when are we finally gonna get it and when will it come because we want it right now, right? We need it now. All right, so that is uh, $841. Remember, that's the maximum benefit. I do know that there are a number of people out there who receive less than the maximum benefit. Everybody's situation is a little bit different, so maybe you're receiving the maximum or maybe you're receiving a little bit less, but either way, you will be getting more on that day. Okay, all right, let's talk about the $1,261 and what this represents. Now, the same day, December 30th, 2021, is when you will also receive this new higher payment. This is in reference to those individuals who are married and also receive SSI. This is the new maximum benefit for 2022 for a married couple receiving SSI, $1,261 as a married couple. Now again, if you receive this on a Direct Express card or maybe you receive it in a bank account, regardless of where you typically receive your payments, again, you'll be receiving it there unless something changed, but if, if nothing has changed, then you'll receive it there um, on your card or in your bank account, no problem, on that date, December 30th, 2021. That'll be your new payment, and then of course of, is the January payment for 2022. So again, mark that day. I'm sure many people here in the community, you're already watching it very closely because we're all waiting for this money so quickly to arrive into our bank accounts, onto our Direct Express cards. Everybody's waiting for this because the money was needed like a month ago. Well. Let's just be real. The money was needed like a year ago, but uh, th these are the dates and these are the numbers that we want to watch. Now, let me talk through some other numbers here that I think are kind of interesting and also at the same time, a little bit confusing as to why this is even a thing. All right, so let's just lay this out loud here. So stick with me. I'm going to go through some numbers and some, uh, some different percentages and calculations. It's pretty simple. I think we'll be able to lay this out here. All right, so let's look at this. As an individual, you can get up to uh, $841 each and every month for SSI, as an SSI beneficiary, right? $841. Well, if we multiply that by two, it comes up to $1,682. 
That would be, if you're a married couple receiving SSI, you would technically think that we're both individuals, right? You're not like one person, you're two individuals. Therefore, you would think that you would get $841 multiplied by two, which would be $1,682 every single month. Well, no, that's actually, unfortunately, not how it works because of the the uh, very popular marriage penalty. Now again, when I say very popular, I'm actually being sarcastic because I know that a lot of people here in the community despise the marriage penalty and say it needs to be removed. Well, yeah, I totally agree with you. Let's run the numbers on this and show what it actually looks like. So, like I said, $841 per person multiplied by two would be $1,682 per month. However, as we just mentioned, the actual uh, maximum for a married couple is $1,261 in 2022. So let's run the numbers. Uh, eight, uh, sorry, $1,682. And then we have, that would be the other calculation, right? The 841 multiplied by two. And then the actual number is $1,261. If we actually run the, the calculations on this, it is a 25% reduction to your benefit just because you're married. So congratulations, if you're married, not will you get more, but you'll actually get a 25% reduction to your benefits. And again, I'm being sarcastic. Does any of this make sense to anybody? I don't know. Again, this just once again points to the reason why the marriage penalty should probably be um, relinquished as quickly as possible, right? So I, I was kind of running some numbers on that. I was playing around with some numbers and I thought, wow, it's over a 25%. It's a little over 25% reduction of benefits from 1682 down to 1261 per month as a married couple. So yeah, oh wow. Anyway, so anyway, I wanted to lay that out there because um, these are the numbers that we have coming up here in just a matter of days that'll be coming to millions of people, about 8 million beneficiaries of SSI right now. So be paying attention because those new benefits will be hitting your card and or your bank accounts here in a matter of just days. Now I wanted to make this dedicated video for SSI beneficiaries because I've been seeing a lot of comments as I usually wondering when we're going to be seeing these higher benefits. Well, as an SSI beneficiary, you're actually be going to be getting your January payment a couple days before the new year. So that's actually pretty encouraging. That's exciting right there. You're going to be getting your payments far before uh, Social Security beneficiaries will be, which will be going in uh, sometime in January, which again, I'll make a dedicated video on that as well for Social Security beneficiaries. But for SSI, you're first up to get your higher benefit as a result of 2022 and the cost of living adjustments. Be sure to continue watching for that as well. Now, one more thing I want to quickly mention here. We also do have hanging out in the wings the SSI Restoration Act, which would totally change the game for SSI beneficiaries. That would ultimately raise benefits by a huge margin and um, it would be like a nice, it would be like a 30% raise. Um, it'd be a really nice raise. So we need to continue watching that one also very closely. Of course, I can make some dedicated videos on that as well, the SSI Restoration Act, as we do get more information on it. But I wanted to make this one for you. Let's just focus on one topic at a time because here's the deal. If we come in here and we talk about the SSI Restoration Act and we talked about the new higher benefits and the COLA raise and the marriage penalty and all this other stuff, it starts to get to be a little bit confusing and it just turns into a really long drawn out video, which I don't wanna do because I wanna be respectful of your time as much as I possibly can be and bring you the most valuable information in the shortest amount of time that I possibly can. This is what's happening as of now and be sure to watch for those payments. If you have any additional questions, please leave those down below in the comments section. I do my best to read as many comments as I possibly can, even though there are thousands and thousands of comments coming in every single day. I try to read as many as possible and respond to as many as possible. Um, but anyway, if I do see the same questions coming up time and time again, I usually do like to make a dedicated video about that just because I figured, you know, if I see the same comment uh, 15, 20, 25, 30 times or more, I feel like there's probably a lot of people wondering the same thing who maybe are not leaving questions and comments. So I'd like to do that for you as well. But these are the numbers. These will be hitting your cards, your bank accounts here in a matter of just days. Very exciting. Finally, a little bit of relief, even though a much uh, larger benefit raise needs to be coming. I totally agree. And I think many of you in this community probably agree with that as well, that a much higher sustainable permanent benefit needs to be put in place to help out millions of beneficiaries 
not only of SSI, but Social Security, SSDI, Survivors, uh, SSI, VA, RRB, and pretty much all low-income people as well need additional relief in some form, whether it's a stimulus check or permit raises, whatever it happens to be. We just know that this is a tough time and we need to get some kind of long-term solution put into place because it's not sustainable, right? But again, this is a totally different topic that we could discuss in a separate dedicated video because we could go on for a long time talking about the importance of additional payments right now, right? Anyway, for those of you that have been asking, I hope this lays it all out for you. I hope this gives you a little bit more clarity on what is actually going on out there. The new higher benefits that will be coming in a matter of just days here. And once they start hitting your cards and your bank accounts, you're totally fine. I mean, you should be have you should have nothing else to worry about. Well, no, let me take that back. There's still gonna be things to worry about, right? But let me take that back. When it comes to the benefits, I simply mean it'll just automatically hit your card and your bank account. You won't need to like do anything to get the higher benefit. It'll automatically just be hitting your card. So that's that's what I meant. I wasn't I wasn't meaning like, oh, a $40 raise is gonna solve all your problems. No, I don't think that's the case for anybody, right? I think we all recognize, no, it's not gonna solve our problems. It's gonna help a little bit, certainly, but it's not gonna you know, change our lives for the better by any means. It's gonna, it's gonna help us a little tiny bit, but that's about it. So, Anyway, hope this helps you out. Again, hit that subscribe button right down below the video so you don't miss any videos going forward as things are changing very rapidly right now. I'm here to help you out in any way that I can as well as talk you through any of these changes that are coming and all of these proposals that are happening out there right now and that are still on the table. Anyway, hope this helps you. Subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, family, and social media, and go back and check out any of the other nearly 2,000 videos right here on the channel. Enjoy your day. Thanks again. I'll catch you again later.